Happy Saturday guys. I have a big day planned. I did just get off work about 15 minutes ago, so I've just been sitting here on my phone for a few minutes. But I have a big day planned and I'm trying to vlog it all for you guys, but pretty much what's gonna go down. <laughs> um, so today, um, right now Mark's gonna get off work around two-ish, so about half an hour. He's gonna bring us some panda and I'm so excited because I'm starving and panda express is so yummy. And then we're gonna go to Target. I need to get some essentials like toilet paper, paper towels, things like that. Um, we're gonna go hang out for a little bit. And then I have an appointment at six o'clock to do a um, non-invasive BBL. I don't know, I didn't even know this was a thing, but I guess a non-invasive BBL is like, um, it's like obviously getting a Brazilian butt lift but without like surgery. So it's like a vacuum therapy type of thing. I did a little bit of research on it, um, not a lot, but the um, girl who is gonna do it for me, um, she gave me a little form and things like that. And I feel pretty confident and I feel really excited about it. Not that my, I'm, not that my, bat, my butt, my bat, <laughs> not that my butt is bad, but I feel like it could be a little bit more perkier a little bit more full, if that makes sense. And uh, it actually works for hip dips as well. So I'm gonna take you guys along with that too and so you guys can see the before and afters, uh, but I'm so excited for it um, because I wanted to fix my hip dips and I don't like them. Um, I'll, I'll obviously embrace it if you love them. I don't really like them um, on me anyway. I don't like them, so I wanna get rid of them. So that's, I'm gonna do that today. Um, and I'm also gonna go out tonight and you guys, I have not gone out like to the club in like, since I turned 21. I haven't gone since then and I'm gonna be 26. So it's been a few years, so I'm a little nervous, but I haven't gone out to the club since my sister turned 21. She turned 21 last January and I still haven't gone out with her. And I'm just like, you know what, I'm off tomorrow. It's fine, I'll just go out a little bit, have a good time, you know, whatever. And yeah, so she's gonna come over earlier and get ready with me and we're gonna go do that tonight. A little nervous again, but I don't know, maybe this might be nice, you know, just to kind of go and hang out and just have some drinks, you know, have some girl time. It'd be really exciting, maybe meet a couple friends, things like that. This is a long thing I'm doing here, but I just want to let you guys know everything that's going to go down, you know, just, I just want to say it out loud also so my head kind of knows what's going to, what's going to happen. But yeah, so all that's going to happen in one day. So it's been like 125 every day for the past week and I'm exhausted. I'm tired of it. Like it wasn't this hot last year around this time like I am like I'm livid like I don't understand like it makes me not want to live here and like my house if you guys have seen my house before um I have just like the AC window units I don't have like a central AC and my house is pretty big so it's really hard for my house to get cool um but I mean that's why we got a good deal in this house because the window units but anyways I'm like tired of it I'm tired of the heat but we'll just see how it goes can we just talk about the situation like I came home and it's, I'm pretty sure my cats did this. <sighs> Maybe this is a sign for me to clean up my closet because this is, this is just, it's too much. Also a quick little update for you guys. I put in my two weeks at my current job about two days ago and I'm gonna go back to my old job and be a manager again and work in retail and work in clothing. I know that retail is not for everybody but banking is not for everybody as well. I don't like banking, it's not my thing. It's a thing for other people, but not for me. I love clothes, I love fashion, I love makeup, I love touching clothes, I love being around clothes, I love visuals. That's just me. I don't know why I did this, that was so dramatic, but that I'm so excited to go back and doing what I genuinely love to do, even though I won't get paid as much as I did at the bank, which I made great money, but I was very grateful for the experience. I'm very grateful that I was able to save up some money from it and I was able to buy a lot of things because of it. But I wanna go back to doing what I love. I don't wanna just stay at a job because they pay me good money. I wanna stay there because I genuinely love what I do and I love it. So I'm so excited to go back. My last day is uh, the end of June at the bank and then I go back um, in July. So I'm so excited. Just a little update for you guys, uh, but just in case people are wondering, because I think I did mention it a few clips back that I was going to leave the bank. Um, but yeah, so that's a little update for you guys. I did put in my two weeks and I just got the end of the month and then I'll be done and I don't have to go work at a bank ever again because it's just not my thing. And um, a lot of people are probably gonna judge me and be like, oh, you're so dumb that you left because you were making good money. It's like, it's, I could care less. I mean, I could pay my bills either way. I always figure it out, but I wanna be happy. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna, I don't wanna wake up with anxiety anymore, so. Um, also, tea time video coming soon on what it's like to work at a bank. So that's a great video idea, thanks to one of my friends. So I'm really excited about that one. But anyways, yeah, so that's a little update for you guys. Hello.
What are you looking at? What are you doing? Are you trying to go in there? Munchkin? Hello? Please don't mind my dirty mirror. I'm gonna clean my bathroom. But I just wanna show you guys um, pretty much my hips right here. See how it's not really curvy? I'm more like a pencil. I do have like a dip right here. I do have a little bit more curve toward the bottom, but like there's like a dip here and I'm not appreciative of it. So I am going to get that to fix today. And again, I'll show you guys before and after pictures of the actual thing. So I'm gonna try to have my sister also vlog the process. It's gonna look a little scary if you guys haven't seen the vacuum therapy before. When I saw the pictures on Instagram, a little scary. Looks like your ass is gonna blow up, but the results are amazing and it's not really painful it's like little to no pain so it's more like soreness i believe so i'll let you guys know on that one of course so mark and i just got home from target oh my god it's so fucking hot outside it's like 127 i am i'm livid anyways um so we got some essentials we got some paper towels toilet paper i also got this little pack of towels for ten dollars we just needed some new towels so i got this pack from the brand thresholds just some little bath towels again for ten dollars it's like a really nice leather gray it's not too thick not too thin just how i like them so i'm um, also coming over here i bought a couple of things um, i bought this bag to wear for tonight for when i go out with my sister um this bag was 25 dollars. that was really cute a rest, nice little silver buckle and it's just a nice little crossbody nude bag i thought this was so cute and it's got enough space not too much not too little enough for my phone and my money and things like that and of course i could wear it around my body and it'll match with everything so i was like that one is perfect and of course it's from the brand a new day i love their bags super cute then coming in here, Mark decided to get um, the cats some um, treats. Um, I don't think they've had these before, but they love this brand. This is like one of their favorite brands for treats. So just these little meaty, uh, meaty bites for chicken. And also salmon right here, super cute. Also ended up getting, getting some duct tape to tape down my vlog um, little, um, I don't know how to call it, the little thing to hold my phone. So it's not staying put, so I got a, oh, tripod, that's the word. So I'm gonna use this to hold down the tripod in the car. Then I also ended up getting this. So I saw this and some and an, another item in here on TikTok. And I guess this one's supposed to help um, with lighting, lightening up your um, underarms. So I'm excited about this one. I really want this one to lighten up the underarms because I do have a little bit darker underarms. So I'm gonna try this out and I'll let you guys know how that works. The other thing I got that I saw on TikTok were um, these razors. This is for pubic hair. It's like for very sensitive skin. And of course it's for like, you know, you're down there. And it does have the irritation defense bar, it comes with two razors, and you can buy the refills as well. They also have like serums, shave gel, things like that. So in case you guys are interested, this pack was $14.99. So I'll let you guys know about this one. I'm really excited to try out a new razor. And lastly, just some toothpaste. This is like our favorite toothpaste. So I don't buy any other toothpaste besides this one. It definitely helps with um, cleaning up the teeth and, you know, whitening up a little bit. So one of my favorites. So now I'm going to go shower and get ready for my appointment. All right, I just got home about 10 minutes ago from my appointment. Let me just say that shit is fucking painful. <laughs> like, that shit hurts. Um, so if you have a very high pain tolerance, I think you'll be fine. I do not. I'm a weenie, and I felt a lot of the pain as well in my lower back um, because I do have scoliosis in my lower back. So I did feel a lot of it shooting up the pain, you know, going up to my back. But she used to, I used a lower dosage and, um, well, I guess mode, I guess, and it felt a little, still felt a little uncomfortable. But I got used to it as I, as, as I, you know, the more time that went on. So it's not too bad. I'll go ahead and pop a little quick video or um, little pictures here and there of it, and I'll show you the before and afters as well. Really big difference. How crazy? How in one session that that shit was like crazy. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but now my ass is more like up. If that makes sense. How, see how it's more curvy so that was really good that was after one session like that's crazy how perky my ass looks like she did such a good job she was very very sweet very nice so um if you guys are looking for that i'll go ahead and tag the instagram page so you guys can book with her of course it's only in our hometown so that way you guys can book with her super amazing really sweet definitely knows what she's doing so definitely check her out um i did already start getting ready i just did my brows that's why they look a little crazy so i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup do my hair and then i'm gonna get ready to go out with my sister we're gonna go out to the bar i don't know where else we're gonna go but we'll just see where the night takes us